Alrighty then. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here at SD Fish and Sips. Sunday, May 1st, 2022. And I'm rolling into Santee Lakes here for some freshwater bass fishing. We gotta figure out where Jacob's at, which lake he's at. If this is him right here. I don't think it is. But I don't know much about freshwater fishing, so I'm gonna leave it up to Jacob to show me the ways. But first I gotta figure out where he's at. Probably be, I brought my Runkle Heroism bait caster. We'll throw some plastics on that. I got my map, here's in the fish identification. All that good stuff. Before you get in the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support. Thank you for all love and support. We got some duckies here. All right, I'm gonna give Jake a call, see where we're at. Okay, there's Jacob up there. We're at Lake Two now. We came in over at the entrance by in Lake One. It's where the bathrooms are at, Lake Two here. Lake Three, that's where Jacob's fishing at, it looks like. This guy said he just got, he got two with the little small crankbait on the other shoreline. Nice. This is cool to mix it up, do something a little bit different. I was just talking to uh, the guy over there. He said he got two on the crankbait. You already got the info from him? Okay. Any luck over here? So what do you got out? You got a bobber out right now? Yeah, I try and up, so, there was this carp jumping around it. Oh, that's what I want. I saw that huge. on the list. I want to catch a big carp. Huge. So it's how do you 20. catch carp? Oh, sweet. There's a carp here. And I was like, all right, buddy. So I don't know what he's doing. Oh, that was this morning? That was if you just be like sitting in this grass right here and you just keep going through by them and see if they'll hit it? Yeah, I'll just keep casting out. That yeah. was wild. I just cast it over there, was pulling back, and a big bass just jumped out of the water. We're using the salt water underspin war baits. It sounds like cows. shocked me because he jumped right out it was like right here and he just jumps out of the water going for it yeah bass i know i get i know i couldn't believe that was right there <laughs> she was that right there come on jake they're right here I know it's hard to get it. Okay, I got caught up in the tree. Had to pull it out of the tree. Luckily, that little branch, because we're trying to get this bass that's chilling in here. I'm gonna go retie. Maybe put on the duckling, little baby duckling lure, because I see some ducklings up here. I guess the bass come out and eat them. Oh, baby geese? Is that what lure you have, the baby geese? The mom's eyeballing me like, all right, next spot here, we got this little island. I already heard a bass jump out right by this corner. Lake four. Lake four here at Santee Lakes. Lake four. Down the pipe, what do you call this? Down, down the gut right here. Down the gut. You got, you got bumped? <laughs> really, really nice. Well, I've been playing around also with the magnets and the uh, tension. Do you ever just do this move? Walk along? Is that what it's called, the walk along? I don't know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> no, yeah, no, I love it. Sounds like you know what, like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. I don't need to put it on. Gotta get it where Jacob got it. Man, we're trying to get this bass that's right in that corner. Jacob's put on the fly line. He's gonna fly line a night crawler in the corner for this bass that we've been seeing. Fly line that night crawler. See him explode right on it. Is that a fish? The branches were just shaking. 
Do you see the rubber ducky floating over there? Yeah. That was the lure at first. I know, that's what I was hoping for. Nothing the sun was about to come down. It looked like they just got scared by something. They were swimming out. A little bait. Mm -hmm. Dead bass. All catch and release. Crazy. Now I'm now I'm learning birds here inland. I see these birds flying over. They look like turn birds. They were just picking and diving down. I don't know what's going on. It's cool though. Good evening, good evening, good evening. It's your buddy Mikey here. SD fishing sips. Doing some bass masters out at Santee Lakes. We got a spike. We got Jacob. I like it. You're both rocking the hat. Spike's got the camo OG original and Jacob's got the Padres. And then I got the new one going. We're... Let's go, Corey. How are you? Anything yet? What Thank up, you, man? man? Corey. Mikey. Nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you, too. Getting it out of the water to like end of the huge one yeah it jumped out of the water yeah it blew up big time right there on the side of the tree then i got my lure caught in the tree i was throwing yeah that war baits that three eighths war baits and then now i'm switching what are you throwing on yours i just have a fluke i was doing well with them dang is that alexa that you're throwing uh dc oh dc but so that's shimano yeah that's and then a phoenix rod yeah and that that's what you're saying that low profile grip like this yeah, the minimum the better it's all the same yeah. it's, all I, it's all new to me i only fit right now well not only fish salt water but mostly i do salt water yeah. so i'm stoked on uh getting out here in the fresh water shoot interesting i changed it all up you ever catch morning. carp here no when we were a kid once in a while in the summer like throw a little bread ball or some corn out there that's what my buddy was saying corn is what you catch them on I know that's why I wanted it. They said there's a 40 pounder in here, Kyle. Lake, Lake One has a lot of them. That's where they're at, Lake yeah. One. <laughs> I got him. I got hung up on that earlier. Come on, Spike. Yeah. You're better than that, bro. I know. I can't believe I. Look at this. <laughs> it's too early for that. <laughs> Let's see what you can make happen. <laughs> that's what I got hung up in that tree. Earlier today, I had to climb up into the tree to get it free. Oh, there you go. Nice. Just ripped it out. Got blown up on here on the 3 8 ounce underspin. That's what Spike's throwing right there. He's got the underspin. Dang, I just saw something. Or is that them casting over there? Have you seen them blowing up? See, they're in that corner. Okay. I'm going to throw. I got my spinner right here. I'm going to throw my tube bait. Down on the shoreline. That shadow is structure. Right there. Yeah. Right? Yep. So I asked Corey the same thing about carp and he said corn also. Oh really? That's the ticket, corn. Dude, really? I wasted my time. No, but I can get some catfish with the mackerel. Okay. Right? Okay. Don't you want yes. some catfish? I want some <laughs> giants. Yep. But I'm gonna fish this little. But it's it. We're at Sunday, May 1st, 2022. I was down at the sport fishing landings this morning. Yeah. Checking oh. out the uh, bluefin. I just snapped it off the bottom. When I try to pull it from walking it too far to the side. That's how it goes. Yeah, I just lost that mint tube bait. I got caught, I let it drift too far to the bottom. It got caught in the weeds right here. And then I tried to get a wide angle and pull it out and pulled it right off the leader. Broke it off the leader, Floro. So I'm gonna tie on with that crankbait, huh? Shallow water. Let's see what's in the mystery tackle box. Catch company right here. I got a bunch of these, I never used them in the mail. So I'm gonna throw this little guy, half ounce. Rattle hook, special weight. This doesn't have a depth because it just swims top water. A lip, a lipless crankbait. Don't fish that one, even though it's deeper. Have something? No, uh, yeah, I because I picked through a bunch and oh, look at what we got here. This is the color of a duckling too. <laughs> Should I throw the frog? I think maybe save that till it gets a little more closer to dusk. 
That's a good color, isn't it? I like it. <laughs> I could put a, uh, should I fish this? I, I like Dang. That. What about, uh, what do you call this style? Buzz bait. <laughs> what do you think about yeah, this? Bu the hammer buzz bait. That's <laughs> top water, that's later. Later, really? Okay. okay. Which one? So like this one will sink. So you gotta keep a steady retrieve. This one will float, not the one from 1970. Don't go with that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a jerk bait. Should I try the white one? Yeah, that's what I was using earlier. You didn't get any hits though? Not earlier. But I could throw it right there in that little spot for the, that's what I'm gonna do. What about this? A little trout, I like it. That's my uh, Florida special. It might work out. Just gotta, you just gotta be careful going through the reeds without trouble. Trouble could be trouble. I caught my snook on this one. No, I think this is a, a mullet. That's rainbow trout. <laughs> I don't know, the snook ate it. <laughs> That's what I was talking about earlier. So see, it makes a difference, right? Like I'm sure it's good in the water, but I can get that. No, I use it on my trolling setups, but I don't like it for casting. I like to be able to see the line, yeah, on moss green braid. Let's see the action on this, the jerk bait right here. Spike, this is what I'm fishing. All right, let's go. Jerk bait. Good action, but it sinks kind of fast. I don't know, this thing's sinking pretty fast. It, this one sinks, yeah. Maybe it's just diving as it's all. Well, there's different, there's suspending and then there's that. Any chasers? Nothing so far. Oh, right there, by the tree. By the tree? Before, it's up. See what bubbles are? Yeah, in between that and the tree. That's where that fish was blowing up earlier, too. Right, you can still see the bubbles. Where that bird just dipped? I just had him. I was hooked up. I, I was on, bro. On. Dang. That was it. Okay, next up, jerk bait territory. You want to go up to the lake four, Mikey? The one with the bridge? Yep. Okay, here we are, 6 p.m. at Lake Four now. Spike still throwing the red worm, right? With a little uh, scent. Night oh, you put a night crawler on the plastic worm and still no bumps or nothing. No. And then Jacob, you've been throwing the uh, jerk bait. We're going with the duck. Oh, he's bringing out the little ducky. There it is. <laughs> oh, last time he was here, they had a corner section of this lake blocked off down there because the big bass eat some of the little duckies. I've been seeing the little duckling. Yeah, there we got them. Look at them. Oh yeah. So that's what Jacob's gonna make in a feet spin. 
<laughs> That's one of the best. <laughs> it's a absurd. And then I got a little something special. We're going for the monsters. I got the mackerel special right here on that circle hook, Carolina rig, two ounce weight. We're gonna launch this thing out here. So it's on that Runkle, that Titan Spinner 6000, Shimano Italius rod, 40 pound blue braid. And then I got the Carolina rig with the egg sinker right here, two ounce to the barrel swivel, 40 pound mono, three aught ring circle hook, Spanish mackerel hole. We'll put it by. We're looking for catfish. I heard the carp eat corn. I was hoping for carp, but I guess they're corn sucker. What was that? Oh, that was my uh, way. Is it? Well, I want to be on the bottom, right? No, you're good. Yeah. Loosen the drag a little bit. Oh, Jacob, there goes the duck. Let's see the action on it. Oh, see, there maybe he's got the ducks right here. The feet going, we got the actual ducks over here. She's feeding the ducks, getting them chummed up. This is good. <laughs> Look at those swim. Oh, that's classic. I love it. <laughs> Switch back and forth, they both might work. We're gonna go jerk bait first. Over here by the duck. Oh yeah, you know what? Should I put the frog on? Yeah, whichever one you can catch. This thing probably only weighs like an eighth of an ounce, huh? Okay, let's see it. The frog tom. What? With that mackerel. Chasing monsters with the mackerel. All right, it's 6.30 p.m. now. We've got a half hour left before the lakes close. We're back here at Lake 3, and I got my frog. I gotta be quiet. Jacob was telling me they can hear you. I got my frog top water. We're hopefully they come out at sunset. Let's see if we can get one. All right. You just hook up, first cast. Oh, there it is. Nice. See, that's what we're saying. Got fish hard, you know, it hooks up. You're casting on my fish, bro. You're trying to- sorry, I said sorry. Jeez, come on, Jake. I sorry. Good job. Gotta psych you out. We got a jumper. Oh, nice. Good job. Oh, yes. He's barely hooked there. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Yep. Oh, barely in the corner. Corey, good job, dude. That's a chunky one, huh? Yeah. Hey, you want me wow. To Just like that. On the Ica. Corey, on the Ica. That's right. That's why that, that jig that I showed earlier. Beauty. Good job. Wow. One, two, three. Hey, maybe uh, <sighs> get back here. Badass. Dang, where'd you get the catfish? And you got trout too? Yeah. I didn't even lake. know that there's still trout left in Me here. Me neither. Up in Lake Four, I got in a night crawler dipped in cheese bait. Wow. And, and what'd you get the catfish on? Same. Get those guys we got, that's, that's, like a one point, yeah, yeah. that's like a 1.3, bro. Why are you even weighing it? 1.8? 3, seven. Three oh. seven? What are you trying? That's a nice one. Any luck on the bass today? I got one, but it wasn't that big. What'd you get it on? Whoa. Same night crawler. And actually, yeah. Night. Wait, hold on, let me get the release. Right on, take 
Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. It should be getting better and better and better. Keep fishing hard. Have a good one. Thanks. Good job. Yeah, <laughs> sick, bro. Getting the five minute warning from the park ranger. <laughs> Corey saving the day. Last cast. Sneak